that you do it on purpose Sing like a sing long key Talk to the girl that intimidates you Pretend that you're brilliant and charming I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming Hey! Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Blade with Jason Sewell. So glad that you are tuned in on Saturday night or wherever and whenever you're tuning in from. Thanks for joining us. Bo Counts is here. Hey, man. As always, good to see you, bud. Good to be here. Yeah. Again. 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 In here you flesh, are. In the flesh. In the chair. We spent so oh, long yeah. not in these chairs. It feels good to have my booty in it. Yeah. We spent so long just not even in person, and we've got all kinds of in-person things happening on today's it show. It feels good. Like, the past... Handful of episodes have all been in person. Yeah. Feels normal. It does. It does. But before we get to the exciting things coming up on the show, let's talk about summer blockbusters. Because, like, we're, we're kind of tail end of the summer here. We're wrapping things up. Going back to the movies. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people have been going back to the cinema, which is exciting. I'm one of them. I go, I try to go every single week, at yeah. least once. Doesn't mean I love the movie I'm going to. I mean, Space Jam was a thing. But, uh, you know, it, 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 it's fun being in the theater. The theatrical experience, I think, as theaters are opening up and these new movies are coming out. Yeah. I mean, Green Knight came out recently. It was amazing. We've got uh, the Suicide Squad on the way. I'm excited about We've that We've got one. Free Guy coming out. All these studios are getting confident about movies. Yes. But what they need is people to get those butts in seats. Yes. Because the theatrical experience is so much more it's than different. at your house. Yeah. Because at the theater, you don't have... People calling you and running around and going to the kitchen, That's microwave right. dinging. It's just like you're there. You're focused. You're 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 zoned in. Where are you going to plan to see Paw Patrol the movie? That's my main question. Paw Patrol At home too. Or in theater. Yeah. Or Paw Patrol, man. You know, Paw Patrol is one of those like the the saga mm. behind Paw Patrol. Mm -hmm. It's just. I don't. I don't know. I, I. I've been. I've been thinking about IMAX, maybe. Maybe. Um, yes. Or just not at all. Go check that out. <laughs> uh, and if you want to hear Bo wax poetic more about movies, obviously you can always check him out at the longest running kind of podcast show that I know of. Yeah, and sixteen that's a years. Speaker box. Wow, man. Box. That's awesome stuff. Speaking of awesome stuff, we do have an awesome episode lined up for you tonight. We've got the amazing Bianca Montoya joining us, talking about all things biking in Northwest Arkansas. We've got our great friend Pat Ryan Key, a new music video just released from the lead track off of his new EP. And then down at our chef's table, great friend of the show, Vince Pinalto, Chef Vince joining us. Chef, what are we going to be making down there at the chef's table today? We're going to make an energy-packed chia pudding for your post-bike workout. Oh, ch -ch -ch chia! Uh, <laughs> the pudding. Pudding. I yeah. know. I don't know. You can eat it. Man, I can't wait to uh, chia pudding. Can we smear it all over a terracotta head, like a terracotta Jason head into a, like yes. a faux hawk? To a faux hawk, and then it grows. I don't chia. know. We'll see. Chef Vince has all the answers. That's why you need to stick around because all that fun is coming up later. <laughs> Right now, I have to say the best the best pet I've ever had is a uh, is a turtle. He, he, he leaves you alone. He sets a good example of going in his shell when he should, and uh, you know he's a little hard on the outside, but once you get to know him, he's he's real soft on the inside. He eats strawberries right out of my hand. It's all in the crust. The crust is where it starts. You ask anybody that, you have to have a good crust, or you can't put anything on it. I like a uh, uh, crawfish and pasta pizza, but the pasta often gets the crust too wet. Flimsy in your hand. Can't stand the thin, flimsy crust. You know, you could call anything Cajun. I've seen Cajun spice, Cajun this, Cajun that. Uh, I don't think the Cajuns had anything to do with any of it. It's just a marketing word they put on there. Uh, recycling into the fashion industry is a great idea. That's, these overalls have been recycled over 25 times. I keep adding patches and recycling more and more things to it. I recycle everything. Hangers, uh, cords, uh, those little twist ties make great shoelaces. Uh, recycling in the fashion industry has been a long time coming. And people look good. People look good in reruns. You know, don't lick anybody that's not of your own species. Uh, keep your fur clean. 
and cover up your poop. Ah, yes, beard upkeep. Condition, condition. Any kind you can find. Apple juice or even the white of an egg. Pineapples on the grill are like uh, taking a, giving a cat a bath. It's good at first, but a lot of the hair will stick to your tongue. Sam's Furniture doing good. Shine a spotlight on your neighborhood. Well, we're here in the dining section at Sam's Furniture and we're joined by Chris Fox from Bethany Christian Services. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what the uh, nonprofit does. Okay, so we're a faith-based Christian organization, uh, provide pregnancy counseling and adoption services for families in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, so if there's a pregnant mom out there, she doesn't know what to do, she's scared, she can come to us and we'll talk to her about her options of if she wants to parent or if she'd like to place for adoption. Uh, and then also my primary responsibility is to go out and talk to adoptive families, let them know the process of adoption um, and walk them through the process of doing the adoption, right. uh, meet them at the hospital and support them if they are adopting a baby. Um, and then make sure they get settled in once that baby is placed in their home. Man, you guys do so much. If people are watching right now, they want to get involved, they want to learn more, how can they do that? Uh, they can go to www.bethany.org or they can uh, email us directly at rmorris at bethany.org. Man, you got all the info. I love it. Bo, what's the... Uh... I think it's time to get involved. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in. We've got Bianca Montoya joining us now from Bike oh. NWA. Bianca, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Yes, I'm so. Thank you for having me back. Yes. Uh, this is always fun, and it has been too long. It has since been I've too been long. In person with anything. The last, last time was virtual. I know. <laughs> I'm so yeah. tired of virtual. And I got to see my like boring apartment. I was like, welcome. <laughs> to this. I feel like yeah. I've seen you virtually and interviewed you yeah. so many times that it's kind of weird to have yeah. people back in the studio. We're living in a virtual reality. Yeah. That's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> Talk about Bike NWA. Yeah. Your role there yeah. and what even Bike NWA is. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I've been with them for almost four years now. Wow, I didn't wow. realize that. Time flies when you're in a pandemic. No, uh, yeah, so I am the communications and marketing director there. And basically, Bike NWA is a regional nonprofit that focuses on cycling advocacy education, and basically helping this area evolve into a safer and more connected area uh, for people to not only just ride bikes for recreation, but transportation, which oftentimes I think people forget that people do that. Yeah, transportation, like yeah. even to get to work. I mean, I know there's a whole like ride your yeah, bike to work day. Totally. And um, we just like want to further like equity in all these areas. So not just like infrastructure, but like education and programs and like just getting people, like being this resource and a catalyst to get people the things that they need. Well, we talked about how weird this year was, right? Yeah. Doing all the things virtually. Yeah. And I'm sure it was weird for you all as well. But you did yeah. have some successes over yeah. this past year. Kind of fill us in on, on yeah. those things. So, like, a cool thing a lot of people didn't really know about it, or did know about it but didn't understand is we had that program Slow Streets. We right, still Slow have it. Slow Streets, which yes. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was funny because we found that it w became more beneficial and needed for the community because people were trying to get outside. Uh, and there sidewalks either don't exist or are too small. And so people are, you know, trying to social distance and uh, be on their bikes or skates or walking, and they still didn't have the space. And so our Slow Streets program, you know, we uh, basically take a street and we just put some signs up telling everybody to go slower. Right. And we all of a sudden created so much more space for people to get outside and be active. So Slow Streets seems like such an interesting program because it's the only thing I've ever thought of that encourages people to play in the streets, which <laughs> seems counterproductive, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> It is, yeah. <laughs> That's who we are. Yes. <laughs> no, it's actually really awesome. Uh, so many families are out and about. Uh, people are taking alternative routes to get places. Uh, the feedback that we got was actually like pretty positive, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah, and I know you're yeah. on the tail end of an event that just happened that was yeah. amazing, Critical Mass yeah. uh, Summit, right? Mm -hmm. Tell yeah, us about that. Critical Mass Summit uh, was our first summit that we've done, and it was focused on uh, an experience for women and non the non-binary community. Sure. And uh, we basically talked about like social change, uh, cycling, and active transportation, and how those things are interconnected, and how you can lean into your community. So day one was virtual, and then day two is like choose your own outdoor adventure. Wow, how fun uh, is that? And it was just, you know, I, I think people forget, but like being outdoors can be really transformative, and it's a good place to bond. And so I think uh, a lot of the change makers in the area that we invited to the table, a lot of other like nonprofits and uh, local sure. grassroots organizations, 
uh, came together and I think we were able to see like how much we actually have in common in all the different spaces that we're trying to make change in. Let's mm -hmm. just say that you were given a magic wand and could make anything happen and that you also happen to be on maybe a city planning commission of any one of yeah. our uh, amazing Northwest Arkansas mm -hmm. River Valley cities. Yeah. What, what's one of the first changes that you would implement if you had that magic wand? I would actually be interested in doing that eventually. Uh, but the magic wand I would use in this current state that we're in, uh -huh. I think it would be important uh, to diversify those boards. Um, uh -huh. A lot of times I think people think, oh, it's like multidisciplinary and people like coming from different sure. walks. Um, it's not always the case. Um, I think that there should be stronger BIPOC representation. Um, I think that uh, a lot of times like the uh, adaptable side of things isn't included in that, like does this work for everyone? Right. And so I feel like if we really want to make change, we need to really be hearing from all the voices. Let's say people are watching right now and they want to get more involved with Bike NWA. Yeah. Maybe they are one of the voices who needs to be amplified in our community, or maybe they're just an advocate for what mm -hmm. you have going on. How? What's the best way for them to get in contact with you for them to do yeah. that? Yeah, so you can go to our website, bikenwa.org, which is always, you know, you can go in there, contact us, learn things about us. You can email me directly, Bianca at bikenwa.org, or info at bike. Anyway, I'm the person who gets info, so if you have a question, I'll direct you to the right teammate. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just be inquisitive with us. Um, like I said, if we don't have the answer, we know somebody does. Uh, we like to be that resource. We yeah. like we want to lead this area or be helpful in leading this area, and like furthering our commitment to making this area uh, a safer destination to do things in. That yeah, are for everybody, absolutely active. Yeah. Get yeah. out there on the trails, enjoy the trails. Scooters, as, as Bo said. skates, yeah. longboards. We're for all of that. It's yeah. not just bikes. It's like you got wheels or your legs. Let's go. Let's go. I yeah. love it. Let's go. <laughs> Bianca, thank you so much for filling us thank in. Thank you. And you're going to want to get involved with everything they have going on. Big changes coming up oh, yeah. too. Big exciting stuff. Oh, I forgot. Happening in oh fall. yeah, stay tuned. September. Yeah. Right, we have some uh, some cool news that we're announcing. Um, yeah. Bike and WA may be making some kind of evolution. Uh, that'll be fun to partake in. So. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to want to partake in what they have going on. So keep your ear to the ground and stay with us, folks, because we have more happening later. Smith & Associates Real Estate is a proud sponsor of Later with Jason Sewell. They're excited to be a part of the growth and continued success in Northwest Arkansas.
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We've got Chef Vince Pinalto joining us down here at the Chef's Table. Vince, always great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I always yeah. love to come on the show. Oh. Yeah. And it's always the best because you always feed us so well. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you always know that we're going to eat way too much. I know. And you brought a lot. I feel like this looks healthy. And you were mentioning that it's kind of like the best uh, post-bike workout snack that you can have, right? This may be the easiest dish we've ever done on the show. Okay. And it is the healthiest by far <laughs> dish. Sorry, Bo. <laughs> Sorry, but it's Bo. actually super tasty. I love it. Okay. Okay, great. Ooh, there's bee pollen bee down pollen? there. Bee pollen? Yeah, and okay. What is it? So, what are we putting together? Oh, it says it's nature's most balanced food. Oh, who knew that? I mean, I don't know. Oh is my it? gosh. Is it good for the bees? Tell us what you think. Is it, <laughs> they look like, it looks like nerds. You know that candy I mean, nerds? It tastes it's like nature's that? most balanced nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to take three ingredients. Uh, okay. We're going to take almond milk. Almond milk. Uh, you can use soy. You can use any kind of nut milk if you want to. Uh, I, I like to put in coconut milk. Why oh. is that? Uh, just the flavor? For a or? sweetness uh -huh. and a little bit of flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just the chia seeds. And these things are exactly what you think about when you hear the word chia. Yeah. But the cool thing about chia seeds is when they get moisture, they, they turn into little slimy wads. They're they are really fun. Yeah. Trust they, me. They absorb Was that your nickname in college? Slimy, slimy wad? wad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They absorb ten times their weight in, in, in water, and so so what I'm going to do I'm going to take do the same but in pizza <laughs> like this week. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to mix these two okay. uh, milks together because <laughs> once we add the chia, they like to clump up really bad. So I noticed that that coconut milk there it, it was pretty uh, it looked like pudding already. How it, did you get that consistency? It from? was in the cold. Okay. So out of the refrigerator, the fats in the coconut milk will kind of get solid up. And okay, so. For every half cup of liquid, mm -hmm. we're going to do two tablespoons of seed. Okay. So we now have a we have a cup of liquid here. I have four tablespoons of seed. Okay. okay. And you we're already measured gonna, this out. I did measure it You're out. You're a real chef. You know, it's TV time, you know. Yeah. And we're just wanting to get these really well stirred up. Now, okay. It looks like a, pepper. <laughs> it looks like peppercorns in a... Don't put this on your biscuit. Ooh. But you know. Actually, <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm going to do a chia biscuit. You just wait. Yeah, I'm sure you will. A chia yeah. gravy? We're going to let mm. that set for just a couple minutes. Okay. And we're going to okay. re-stir it okay. just to kind of distribute it. In 30 minutes in the fridge, it will look like this. Oh, wow. This. Yeah, oh, so look like at a that pudding. And so it's, it totally literally different. is. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. And we're so it's shake. nice and thick. We're going to put some bee pollen in for some digestive enzymes. Okay. So you just sprinkled a little I bit in little there. Bit. It's not a huge amount. Okay. Can you just be like pollen bay? Yeah. Totally, totally could. <laughs> you, there we go. You missed, but yes. I, he does too. Though. Have yeah. you ever watched him? Yes. He misses all of it. Yes. I'm going to put some mango. I love any kind of fruit. It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Uh, if you like uh, berries, go for it. I like um, berries. And I love stuff that's in season Got too. Nectarines, right? peaches. So if you make them in season, then you don't have to worry about Re, you know, sweetening them up. Right. So I'm gonna put some peach in there, oh. just a little mm. dice of peach, and oh, you already put that mango in there. Mango's obviously, in there. And I already tasted this. Local this is mango, honey. and that is local honey. We mm -hmm. got that at the farmers market. Nice here in town. This is not local bee pollen. We, we this tried. is foreign bee pollen. <laughs> but but it is supporting work. a local business, right? Because you right. got it from right. O and so That's right. I don't know. Put some uh, eco bee farms. Yes. The, the, Banana there for okay. Some, okay, I want you to drizzle that on top of there. Got it. As much or as little as you want. Yeah, honey. Oh man. Pour some honey the, on it. The pudding that. itself is, Sing it. is not super sweet. It's got a teeny tiny bit of sweetness, so I, I like the honey to give it a little bit more. This we'll is already pop. starting yeah. to thicken up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. And so, like I said, in about thirty minutes, it's ready to eat, and. We're done. And then we're That's done. It. This we're is done. it. This is it. This is. I feel like now, this is one of the most simple things that you've ever brought on the show before. It is. Uh, you can make the chia pudding, and it'll last in the fridge for like five to seven days. Yeah. So wow. You can make a pretty good amount yeah. of it and just kind of dose it out as you need it yeah. or want it. Um, 
It's just. I don't know if this is going to last me five to seven, maybe five to seven minutes. Yeah, right. I, no doubt. I'd chow that down. But I want y'all to try this. And yeah, see what I'm you totally going right? to try it. I, yeah. I do want. While we're trying this, Vince, can you give us a little bit of the details of what you do there at Brightwater and how people can get involved with all the stuff you got going on there? Yeah, I teach uh, baking and pastry at the school. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been open for about four or five years now, and uh, we have a full baking and pastry uh, certification uh, program. I teach anything that involves flour or sugar, and <laughs> I'm good. That's and, uh, why we're friends. Yeah, uh, no doubt. I love it. Man, this is absolutely fantastic. I can totally see myself making this night before, packing it up, getting ready when I'm uh, it, coming back from a run or going out on a bike ride, whatever it is. You could totally pack these up in like little uh, jars that you like know, little can put snack in your little packs. Pa yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Put it in your backpack when you're going out on a picnic, too. It's great. Man, yeah. This is, and it's a pretty good For all those picnics reason. that you go on. You know, <laughs> picnics. You know, that's right. I'm always on a picnic. Uh, stay with us. Thanks, Vince. We've got more happening later. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Later with Jason Sewell. Remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms. You can see old episodes of the show. We've got all of our content digitally for you over there on our YouTube channel. And then, of course, you can always send us an email. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can send us an email at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. Before we leave, we've got to thank our guest, of course, the amazing Bianca Montoya, Bike and WA, for being here. Thank you, Bianca. And Chef Vince from Brightwater coming in and getting healthy on us. That's right. And then we had that music video from our friend of the show, Pat Ryan Key. And that's it. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. I can't wait to get in on this. A healthy snack. It's so good. Healthy.